Hello and welcome. Ever since the 2010s, Apple and Samsung have engaged in the most intense yet interesting corporate battle. The two behemoths that dominate the smartphone market owe a lot of their success to one another. Each business has kept the other on its toes. In an effort to outdo one another, both companies have constantly been innovating to provide superior value to their customers. Apart from the technical advancement they make in their products, both companies spend billions every year promoting their cutting-edge technology. In this video, we will be comparing the promotion strategy of these two companies, highlighting the differences and how they reflect the specific brand values. Both companies produce video adverts for TV and social media channels, but the message is framed very differently. Samsung has never shied away from taking direct digs at Apple and mocking iPhone fans for their loyalty to the company. In 2017, Samsung released an ad campaign called Growing Up, showing the journey of an iPhone loyalist. He waits outside the store year after year to get his hands on the newest iPhone, only to be disappointed with each new release. In a 60 second video, Samsung points out several problems with the iPhone range lack of storage space, stylus pen incompatibility, smaller screens, lack of water resistance, wireless charging not possible. They chronicle his journey from 2007 to 2010. During this time, his girlfriend has been using Samsung Note and he secretly likes her phone better. He finally switches to a Samsung Galaxy Note in 2017. The tagline literally tells iPhone users to upgrade to Galaxy. Then in 2019 came its ingenious ad campaign, set inside an Apple store. The genius here was an Apple salesperson. The series boldly criticized Apple for ripping off its customers by telling them to buy a new accessory or part whenever they run into a problem. It points out that Galaxy S9 is better than iPhone X in terms of storage and download speed. It points out that iPhone X does not come with a fast charger like the Galaxy S9. Samsung also throws shade on some of iPhone X's features, such as being able to FaceTime up to 32 people at once. The ad questioned why anyone would want to FaceTime so many people. Of course, this was all pre-COVID, so the innovation was deemed pretty useless in the Samsung ad. Recently, Samsung launched its Buckle Up ad, mocking iPhone users for missing out on the latest technology. While bragging about their flip phone, they tell the iPhone users that this innovation will not be available in their iPhones and only the Galaxy users will be able to enjoy it. As you can expect, these campaigns were talk of the town and evoked mixed reactions. Some found the concerns raised by Samsung right, while others thought it was offensive. Whatever the reaction, it did get the public's attention. Samsung narrative is portrayed as if they were the only two smartphone brands in the world. So, it eliminated all the other competitors from the audience's mind. Coca-Cola and Pepsi have retorted to banter at times on social media with their print ads, but Samsung took the strategy to another level. However, the interesting part is that Apple never responds to these ads. Its refusal to engage with this criticism is a sign of its discounting the views of Samsung. Samsung instead keeps its message minimalistic and focuses on its own features. In Apple's adverts, you can see how many frames actually focus on the sleek look and the Apple logo. The messages and the visuals are clean and crisp. Over the years, it has had a simple advertising strategy. An introductory ad film of 3 to 4 minutes, then short clips focusing on the main features of the product. Samsung only explains the technical aspects in its introduction of the product. Then in subsequent adverts, it only shows what those features can do for the users. Consider this example. Samsung made a 4 minute film explaining how their vision boosters on heat solution works in the Galaxy S22 Ultra, going into the technical details and educating the user. While Apple in order to introduce the cinematic mode of iPhone 13 just shot a film of it and uploaded it as an ad. Samsung and Apple both use social media influencers to promote their products. Consider the example of the Indian market. Samsung collaborates with influencers coming from all kinds of backgrounds, from established actors and sports personalities to younger content creators. When selecting content creators, they are concerned with the size of their audience and the entertainment value of the content. But in Apple's case, 
They only collaborate with established names in order to maintain the exclusive appeal of the brand. In India, they often partner with the movie star Shakur Khan, who is recognized everywhere in Asia and also happens to be one of the world's richest actors. Apple and Samsung have drastically different approaches on leveraging their social media presence. Let us consider the difference. Apple has only one Instagram account for its iPhone range. Similarly, Samsung has an account named Samsung Mobile, which features its Galaxy range of phones, tablets and watches. In addition to this, Samsung also has a different Instagram account for every country in which it sells its electronics. This gives Samsung an opportunity to tailor its messaging according to the followers in every region. The content posted on this account is also polls apart. Samsung follows the traditional strategy of using lots of hashtags and posts that include a call to action. This is why, at times, their account can feel a bit too cluttered since they are trying to sell too many devices all at once without focusing on one single feature. In the case of Apple, they have kept things very simple. You will not find any pictures of an iPhone on their account. But every picture on it has been shot on an iPhone. This is their trick. They encourage users to take photos of their iPhones and post them on social media using the hashtag shot on iPhone. Then they share these pictures on their account along with the caption posted by the users, tagging the users. Their idea is to hear the user's stories and not just sell the phone. The 26.5 million posts under the hashtag are a testament to the success of this idea. Not only are they engaging directly with their users, but in doing so, they are also telling the world just how good their camera is. If you thought Apple's Instagram strategy was overly simplistic, then it might surprise you that their Twitter strategy is even more straightforward. On their main Twitter account, they haven't yet tweeted anything. Every time they introduce a new product, they do tweet about it, but it is a sales campaign for which they pay Twitter. Although Apple's main account isn't active on Twitter, its sub-brands like Apple Support and Apple Music are. All of Samsung's Twitter accounts are active and extremely straightforward in using their followers to buy their products. This is just another instance of Apple utilizing a minimalist strategy to set itself apart from rivals and uphold a sense of mystery and exclusivity surrounding the brand. There is no clear winner in this battle as both companies have designed strategies that are consistent with their over-marketing mix and in line with their customers' expectations. Apple wants to target a niche of loyal customers, whereas Samsung wants to create smartphones for everyone. Both companies have gone from strength to strength and can offer valuable lessons in advertising. We hope that this video has highlighted how each company's distinct values have been reflected in its advertising strategies. If you like the content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.